your host, the most tomboy, double and crouching tomboy TV, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is another Saturday, so you know what that means. Another New York City Day vlog. Queen. Supreme. Fuck Supreme. Today I'm repping Peep Game. Got the camel pants on. A little custom action going on over here. Not the greatest. It's still in the works, though. Patch is falling off. You know, I'm just learning. But at the moment, we're going to go check out what's good at Supreme because this was Supreme Week 12, summer, Spring Summer 2019. I still want to see what's left in stock. I'm going to film a little bit more. But I do plan on making two separate videos because we got the Bape Drop. We got some Human Made and Verity uh, Cry. Uh, whatever it's called, collab exclusive at BBC Billion Bo Billionaire Boys Club, New York City. Uh, we're linking up with Harlem Reseller, Supreme Palace. I got to check out the, that's what I'm in a rush for. I got to catch this train because I want to make sure I get some palace tees because I couldn't make it out there on Friday. Uh, but I don't know how these videos are going to be set up. We're going to figure it out. We're going to link up with Harlem. Maybe he has the raids. He might have some Sean. Well, there's ones. We might go to round two. The Urban Necessities, all that good stuff you know about doing the city. So let's get it. Catch you guys in a little bit, probably in like two hours. Kids, we're putting Jay Balvin and fucking golf ball on top of Kid. Yo, this is honestly the only day that's looking pretty decent. Holy fuck. Decent. Uh, that day's a pass from me. Pass from, I mean, oh, no, 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 never mind. We got this legend out here. What else we got? I don't know. This day and this day, the Friday and the Saturday, I believe the only good days. But I guarantee you I could flip that Jay Balvin poster for bread, bro. Everyone's a fan of that guy. But anyways, as I said, we're, we're in Soho right now. We're on Mac, McDougal Street. I don't even know the streets out here. All I know is how these streets be looking. Uh, but first, we're going to head to Bape. Actually, that's going to be first on the list because they did drop the Mercedes-Benz uh, toy today. Little car. Supreme did it first. But, hey, yo, Bape's still hopping on the wave a little late, as per usual. If you notice, they do a lot of that shit. Uh, but anyways, we're about to hop in there, see what they got. Then head Palace, Nike, and link over Harlem and see what else is good for today. Yo, that moment when they asked me how I copped the Travis's. This is how I copped him, bro. This is how I got him right here. This is this is the Travis right here. From this is my Travis, my big ass head. Then my Travis right here, man. Yo, check out all these all these out here, man. So hold on. What is good with these L's, boy? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm currently inside of Nike. Your boy already made the first purchase of the day. Not bad, not bad. I mean, I'm surprised they're still available here. I don't think they were here last week. I think they just had like a minor restock, and they let me get it. And he was like, we might have it. And I was like, all right, bet. Can you check? And he was like, yeah. So we in Nike right now. You guys can see it's pretty empty right now because it's early in the morning. Then we're going to hit the Palace because Palace opens in about 20 minutes. Look, restock boys, restock boys. Look at these. I didn't even get these yet, but I mean, one, what are they, 160, size 10 they got right here, the Crimsons. Not a big fan of this one at all, to be honest. Not a big fan. Then we got these mids, the Vogues. I'm pretty sure these are the Vogues. These are women's sizing only. You can see the red strat. Look at all the snakeskin stuff. We still got the snakeskin here. They're really not worth much at all, I don't think. I don't think so. They're like 185. We got hella Jumpman sneakers over here. But yo, these. Ooh, material on these. Like, shout out to Supreme Nike. <laughs> then you got like three different flavors all in one shoe, three different segments. These are actually kind of dope as well, like the Virginia Tech colorway. Shout out to At Your Hype Connect, Burgundy Orange, and Velvet at Sail colorway. It's not like white, white. It's like a dirty sail white. The Air Forces out here are coming crazy, though. Of course, we got. Oh shit, oh no, watch the fuck out wherever you see wearing these. We got the mids, and that's about it. For we actually just got out of Nike, and honestly, it was not that bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. I mean, worse, but like, it's a regular day. I was hoping for some restocks, and did restock some shit, like the Crimson Tints. Small size they had was size 10, but they did have these, the Steve Harringtons. Um, Copped them, not my size. You know, trying to trying to flip quick, a bit, quick a, make a quick buck. I can't speak today. Uh, but we're literally right down Mercer, uh, 21 is down there. We're going to go into there later because everything on like Mercer Street and down opens up at 11. It's like 10.55, so I'm about to hop into Bape. See if there's a line out there, see what's good, and see if we're going to end up copping something. All right, yo, so we're literally outside of Bape right down there. It looks like there's a one-person line, so it shouldn't be too bad. I don't know if I'm going to buy anything, but I'm just here to check it out, see what the retail price is of the car, and check if there's anything good in house in there because you never know. Yo, so Bape closed, but who trying to get lit for free? Who trying to get lit on some Moet for free? All right, guys, I'm sorry I'm back on the iPhone real quick, though, because of the fact, man, I already got a bag for today. I don't feel like taking out all of these bags, but I will. I will be filming more on the camera, don't worry. I know the iPhone's not the best quality. It does get shaky. The mic has an issue. It's all good. We'll figure it out. So right now on Green Street, I was just trying to get into Bape. Shut down. I mean, not shut down, but there was, like, no one there. They said they open up in a few minutes. I was like, yeah, I don't want to really stand out here and wait. Well, I'll just pop in there later because I know there's really nobody there, so everything's going to be in stock. But that is now within a few hours as well. So I'm waiting for Harlem. I'm going to head into Palace because I need some T-shirts, man. I need them T-shirts, so I'm about to see what they got. Hopefully cop some shit, hop into 21 Mercer, and then chill for the rest of the day. 
The raids are still here, 190, the fear of gods. We got the mocks, but the mocks are mad ugly. But I'm mad surprised these are still here, bro. The full raids. This is a different material, though, for sure. I think it is, like, lightly faded and shit. $190 all around. Nike on the sole. Damn, not bad, though, but is it personal? Probably not 190 plus tax. Well, damn, guys, that Furigashi was kind of crazy. I didn't know that they really had the raids in there that you got to go back in line. But, yo, this massive line for... Fucking human made is massive. I got the fear of gods though. I got I got some I got two items from Nike today already, which is unusual. But BBC has a human made rarity shit. And last time was first come first serve. Shit got shut down over here. Uh, so we better see what's good. I'm about to record the line a bit. I'm probably not gonna hop in it, but damn, this shit looking crazy. Six and a half hours later. We just left Mercer. I don't even got the mic on, so it might sound a bit different. But we right now about to head to Blades to film. I mean, not film, but enter the raffle for the Chicago to LA pair of Jordan 1 Nike SBs. Because I'm sure it's my limit. I'm going to take every chance I can to somehow secure them. Uh, well, the way they run it is you get a ticket, but they call you. And it's first come, first serve on whatever size they have. So you can say, say you're number one, you get eight and a half or eight money size, right? But if you're like one of the last ones, obviously you're going to stuck with like a bigger size. But regardless, each one's money. So we better head out there. I'll catch you guys with the raffle. All right, guys, you can see blades right there. I did enter, we all did four bot, four of us enter the raffle. Um, I entered for size 11. He said, the he, one guy in the group entered for size 12, he said that's the first person entering a size 12. And once again, this is for the LA to Chicago pair. Uh, he said very slim chances. A lot of eights and nines are being entered in, but anyways, we're about to head into Supreme right now. Because I promised that. It's like 4.30, once again, another late one. I was gonna go there in the morning, then I just got caught up with, as you saw, Billionaire Boys Club, or that was probably, the, that was a separate video, actually. Uh, but as I said, we're ahead in the Supreme, see what they got. Hopefully, thanks, Keychain, and if not, then it's whatever, we're gonna keep it pushing, so I'll catch you guys uh, right in front of the store. Yo, that ain't no regular pair, boys. That's friends and family. Friends and family, Travis Scott, boys. Oh, nah. So we're actually right down the street from Supreme. We're actually coming from a different way. I normally do and I'm coming straight down Bowery instead of spring is it it's on uh, spring Bowery and spring, or whatever I forgot. Uh, oh shit oh shit stay tuned stay tuned stay tuned next Saturday that shit's coming well we're about to hop in the Supreme and see what they got I don't expect nothing crazy but might as well do it for you guys Ten seconds. damn guys looks like there is a line bro and there's a whole line in here I'm gonna record a little better view for you guys in a second but yeah just know that there is a line out here unfortunately Shit came here in the morning, but in the afternoon it looks like was the wave, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Damn. Damn. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh. Free. Free. <laughs> Damn, bro. We got Vortex, Vortex, Vortex. Vortex out here, man. Damn, track pants to match. Damn, they got the whole Gore-Tex shit sitting. This is sitting. This is sitting. Coach's jacket's still here, though. Damn, Playboy stuff is still here, too, though, bro. What the fuck? XL, boys. 138. Look at this tag, though. This tag looks mad foo This tag looks terrible. World famous. This shit kind of tough. Oh, yes. This is it, bro. This is it. This is it right here, man. Fire. Supreme pants still here. Supreme Raider stuff. Yo, even these. I'm going to cop these on sale, though, guaranteed. And this. Branding on this is kind of tough, though. We got gray. The red colorway, though, is fire. Blockbuster, Champion, Apple Hood. Dude, this was like a vintage Nautica piece, bro. Vintage Nautica looking piece, New Era collab. And they got the apples. Oh, that. All right, guys, we just got out of Supreme. My boy did not cop a bag from there, but here he got the biggest bag of the day. So no real big need. Uh, I did though, cause I want to show you guys what I could actually manage to cop. But unfortunately, they had no fangs, bro. They had none of the fang stuff. Uh, I'm going to stop walking so it doesn't shake as much, but we're really about to head to round two. Get some pizza as well, you know, get our sadness out. Because like when I, whenever everyone gets like dubbed from a round two, they all go next door dollar pizza because that's all they can afford after spending so much money on a big brick. They go in there, get oh, some boys. pizza, 
you know, it's like the sad, sad central, sad hypey central. Even though I hate that world word, uh, but also I need to find me a dollar Arizona because out here people be charging crazy for regular dollar Arizona. That would be regular shit in Jersey. Yo, the ladies out here though today. Blazers, how much is this? Ooh, 450? Yo, what's your thoughts? Yo, these look brand new, 450. Slightly used, if anything. No, it's a no-go. It's a no-go for these. Ooh, these got scuff marks, bro. 550, damn, I got these in a 10 and a half. Tees are lacking today, but yo, look at the box logos. Ooh, TNF. Damn, look at all those TNFs. Shit, yo. Look at all those TNFs. Damn, yo, red bandana. Yo. Launcher, yo. <laughs> yo, he got a rocket launcher, bro. Yo, he got a That's crazy, yo. Look at that. Look at that. Damn. Man, I feel like a whole new person now. Energized, eating full, quenched my thirst and everything you can see. Destroyed the shit out of that. Nasty ass food. But right now we're about to head to Bape. Uh, because I've been promising that all day. They had that car drop today that like Supreme did first. Um, then they got pocket piece they had last week. I don't know if they're going to be worth much, but some of them are doing not that bad. So I'm going to see if I can just make some extra money on there. Because I got really fooked over on some of these items today which i'll unbox once i get back to the crib as per usual round two also just posted some free uh yeezy blue tints i will not even go there because there's so many people out there right now i figured someone else has it for sure by now we also just had a great conversation about the loops this guy used to do about the nike v loan air force ones the atmoses yeah atmoses you had the cost fours all that bro I, my my goal though is to make a podcast though and like get people in here and try to talk about all the loops and shit. Bring them back to Jersey. He got good stories, man. I feel like a lot of people do though because these releases used to be totally different. Yeah, there was no back. sneakers pass back then. No, it was like first come, right? Like Everything's was first calm. There was no raffles. It was first come. At one point there was a full like app, no full action, no champs. Stay tuned for the video so you guys can learn how to use the app. Exactly. Yeah, actually I just posted that today, so make sure you check that. I think I said it one time, but Man, podcast called The Loop or Tommy, The Tommy Cast. I think that, I think that should be kind of dope. But anyways, yo, we're about to head to Bay, and I'll catch you guys with an update. We're at the second Supreme store in New York, bro. This shit type crazy. Nah, just kidding. But yo, look. Oh, they, they scratched it up. But you know, it's all good. We got not one. This is the OG sticker, by the way. Only like 15 of them ever made. This one I got a little bit more of. But you know, more on the way. Supreme, 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 baby. Yes, 190 Bowery. Honestly... Oh, they took down the whole Supreme sticker and everything. It's got spray painted over. You guys can see they got to wash out the spray paint. But honestly, yo, do you like 190 Bowery better than this one? I don't know. This one kind of like where it all started for me. I mean, bro, it's always good to go OG. Yeah. Because like Jordan 1 is like, it's OG, but it's new. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's why I kind of, and this one brings back like so many good. <laughs> good memories out here. I touched way more shit here than I have at Bowery all season. So that's also kind of why I like this one better. But anyways, we're about to head to Bape, as I said, so I'll catch you guys stage right now, bro. Look at this. Look at this. Not one, not two, but three people. Jerseys, two of them. Dude, this is like doubles of everything, bro. Two opening fucking bull, 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 fucking box logos. Dude, three biggies, Kate Moss, four Gucci's, two, three, six. Uh, Louis Vuitton baseball jersey, the bandana. What is it? Oh, the cause box logo, the helmet, bro. That one going for crazy money. Another helmet, the gloves, the box logo, the hologram, Everlast gloves, TNF bandana, and the world map, bro. Crazy. Lafayette Street. Yo, they be finding these at Marshalls. At Marshalls, dude. Marshalls, dude. That shit's crazy, bro. Damn. Oh, look at these, look at these. Yo, this is probably the craziest collection I've seen in a minute, bro. We got this right here, the, oh my gosh, Swarovski bouncing with the Louis. Louis Vuitton, look at these two, bro. Shit. It's actually crazy, bro. What the fuck? What the fuck? Two hours later. Babe, 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 bab
Guys, uh, as you can see, I'm back on the camera. Uh, today was a long ass damn day. Yo, what time is it? It's 8.36. 8.36, boys. This is mad late for me, man. I'm tired. I've been carrying this big ass bag all day. Bag of brick, bu bu bricks. Um, no, nah, they're not that bad. We're gonna unbox everything when I get back to the crib. Um, I don't even know what outro this is for which video, because there's a Supreme video, then the Verity, Human Mate shit, and then there's Palace, and then there's no Bape. No Bape today. That's actually a surprise. No Bape, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna catch you guys in the crib probably tomorrow morning with a full unboxing. And we are back home, finally. You guys can see it is, uh, you guys probably can't see, but you guys can tell it is probably Sunday. It is Sunday, what am I saying? And we do have a few of the pickups from the video. I'm not gonna talk much, because you guys saw this video was already pretty lengthy. Uh, this is two of them right here, and then this is like Supremes included in this one, and this is the other Nike pickup. So normally you guys saw that I did go to Broadway. I do normally go in there, but normally I don't purchase anything because they normally don't have anything that well or anything that actually is worth it. Uh, but this time, I guess they had a little mini restock, or I guess. I mean, I don't know. I don't think that they haven't. They definitely have not been sitting there this long uh, because this is the Cortex Fly Leather Earth Day shit. If you guys remember, Earth Day was... Uh I don't even know what Earth Day was, but this is a Steve Harrington collab for Earth Day. They dropped three different silhouettes, the Cortezes, the Air Force Ones, as well as the Blazer Lows. And they actually had the Cortezes still available. Air Force Ones were the ones that are worth the most to resell. But you guys remember on my channel, I actually did pick up one of these before. Except it was the uh, Blazers. Now these are the Cortezes. Comes in that wrapping paper and the quality and the graphic on them is actually really, really good. These are a size 10 and a half, by the way. Probably the one that's, the I guess, money size worth it the most. As you can see on the back, uh, on the on top of the swoosh, we do have the uh, dog, it looks like, to be holding up. Or some kind of creature, character, holding up the earth with his arms in them. It uh, does come with the turquoise laces right here, and it does come with turquoise lace tips. Uh, the two different ones you guys can see, I'm going to go in and pull them out right here. Uh, they do actually feature a little uh, palm tree on the actual sides of it, where I guess if you took it like on the Air Force Ones, where the Rockefeller uh, symbol would be, if you guys did take the Rockefeller Air Force Ones. But the insoles, it's one of the coolest parts of the entire thing. Oh, did I just... No, we good, we good. I didn't rip it, but it is mad sticky, but you guys will be able to see ever so slightly the actual recycle logo right there in a different type of way. We do got the punches with the rolled in. It says made with at least 50% recycled natural leather, which is dope because that's what it's all about, saving the earth and leather. Does kill the earth slowly. And instead of the regular Nike swoosh, we do have a sunflower right there. Looks like it's tripping on acid, but you know, <laughs> it definitely is tripping on acid. It definitely what that's the percentage. Low-key subtle flex right there by Nike. Uh, but these were $90. Resale is going around like $120, just around there. So, you know, $20 extra dollars right here. Not bad for the beginning of the Saturday. Uh, but we're going to continue into what else I actually did pick up. So, that's actually what was in this bag. And now we go on to the Nike Lab 21 Mercer. So, if you guys don't know, Broadway is more of like their, um, I wouldn't say flagship. Uh, but 21 Mercer is like all the limited stuff. Uh, so, we're all like the Fear of Gods drop. Off-White would come with the sneakers pass. And all that good stuff. And you saw that's where uh, Harlem, Jalen actually used to go for first come first server. So before they switched over to this Nike sneakers pass and just kind of gave him a less chance of actually copping. Because if they did that shit today though, first come first serve should be getting shut down. And honestly, surprisingly, they had a shit ton of these left, man. The fear of God raids. I got these in a size 10 right here. Now, they are bricks, but you could, they literally let you just loop the line. I saw people walking out with four, and they still had them until the end of the day. Like, they had certain sizes. Not all sizes. When I went up, I wanted 11 and a half or a 12. They could not send me the 11 and a half or a 12. So, I was like, alright, I'll just take a 9. They said no, and then finally they said, I saw a 10, so I was like, just give me a 10, please. I could have looped it again, got another pair, but honestly, did not feel like waiting again. The line wasn't even that long, uh, but I had other stuff to go to. I had to get in line for the Verity Club for at billionaire boys club and these honestly just i mean what 15 bucks on each pair i could have made another 15 but you know, i was just like oh fuck it i don't feel like carrying around this whole day because that was in the morning and i stayed there for another like eight or nine hours in the city so i was like it's not really worth it but this if you guys remember i did get the light bones now these are the black ones i'm surprised i copped the full not the full set but like two pairs of the rays in both colorways uh I'm going to go ahead and these are like hella wrapping paper on top of them. I might be doing a full review on these, uh, but yeah, there's there's not a lot of hype around these. And the black ones, I don't like. I don't like. The leather is different. The quality is much different from what they were on the light bone ones, but the light bone gray ones were so much better. These come like a little natural lace. I will, of course, be taking a picture for these on the gram, uh, but once again, man, I am just not a big fan of these. The light bones were something else because they did feature, they, they, they did have a black swoosh on it. I'm pretty sure. Did they not? 
Shit, I don't even think they had the black swoosh, but if they had the gray, the light bone swoosh on the black, I think that would look better as well. Or at least the colorway to match the sole of these. But these are going from what, 250, 240. Once Tinker's orders come in, they're going to go down even more. Then you'll be able to find these at your outlet. So this is like an outlet find right here. You guys will eventually find. You guys heard me say that people are finding the Nike Atmos animal packs at, the, at Marshalls as well. And actually, yo, my a lot of people won't believe me, but I'm going to go ahead and share this anyways. That my family friend actually did find a Supreme bag at TJ Maxx. Shit blew my mind, bro. Shit actually blew my mind. Like, the people are like, it's coming more and more often because, like, I guess they're releasing more bricks. Maybe the hype is dying down as well. Uh, the fact is that Supreme is just finding itself at random places. I mean, that's what it is. But then you guys also saw I did go to Supreme. And as I did say, they unfortunately did not have the damn keychain. I was hoping they would. But once again, I did go in the late afternoon. So it would make sense for them to not have it. I went in at exactly 4.53 p.m. at 5 p.m. Got two items right here. And... Yo, I was so damn surprised to see these here again. If you guys have been watching my Supreme Saturday videos, you know, I've been copying these for the past, like, four weeks, man. For the past four weeks, I keep on picking these up, and they keep on staying at the same price. So I just sell them for $60 each. They're $40 retail. I mean, yo, like, I don't know. They still have boxes. I keep on seeing in the back. They got boxes and boxes of these. These are the utility bags, by the way. They only have the black colorway left and only a select few. They did have the, well, all four colorways originally were the red, the blue, the camel, and the black. And now all they got is the black ones left. I'm like, all right, bro, I'll keep buying them. I really could care less. They let me get two this time. Last time, they let me get one. Luckily, this time, I could get two. But even even these stickers were still there, bro. That's how really you know. That's how you know traffic is not big at Supreme. They still got some of these Nora Hero stickers. Actually, they only gave me one, and they gave me two of the red ones right here. Uh, surprised to still have these actually a few weeks, a week after the actual collab. Well, that's it. I got two stickers in this part of the video, as well as Supreme. You guys saw what I could get. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow for the human made verity shit that was actually really really fun unexpectedly fun and also i had palace palace i spent like almost 250 to 300 dollars so that's gonna be another movie thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned of course subscribe to the channel too we're gonna be coming back next saturday of course as well thank you guys for watching peace